Day 15, December 15th, 2022. Today, let us pray for the gift of life and the unborn child. God the Most High tells us in the message of Monday, March 31st, 2014, at 2 p.m. All life comes from me. Life of the soul is mine. Life of the flesh is also of me. Let no man interfere with either, lest his own life be taken away by me. Of that you can be sure. Every form of life which has been brought forth by my hand will be killed at the hands of wicked men. They will take life away from those in the womb and declare this to be a form of human right. You, my children, do not have the right to destroy the life of my children, either before or after they are born. And if you do, then you will suffer a terrible chastisement. Without reconciliation and a failure to repent for this sin of abomination, I will destroy you as well as those countries which encourage this evil. When you destroy your own life, you offend me, for it does not belong to you, and only I have the right to give life and take it away in my time. By tampering with life of the flesh, you interfere with my divinity and I will never stand back and ignore such an affront to my creation. When the taking of life is not enough, man will deviously attack the life of the soul by bringing death to my holy word, upon which he will trample until he grinds every part so that it will become like gravel under his feet. Then man, arrogant and full of his own warped view of his abilities, will attempt to seek a new planet to find a new home for humanity, although this is impossible. Man will be the author of his own demise. He will systematically destroy all that is sacred to me. The gift of life given by me to every creature of mine, will be stolen from me by man without a shred of remorse. He will condone every part of his murderous intent by declaring the taking of life to be a good thing. Death by abortion is the greatest insult of all, and I warn humanity that justice will be mine for I will no longer allow you to curse me in this way. Earthquakes will strike your cities, and for every nation that condones the taking of life, you will feel the wake of my anger as I strike your grievous and hateful hearts. Those who seek remorse for this wrongdoing will be spared, but know that not one nation amongst you will escape this chastisement. I am sorrowful, I am saddened, and I am angry, for you have finally succeeded in killing every form of life I gave you. I refer to both life of the flesh and life of the soul. The life I gave you is no longer enough though I will take it back on the last day from those of you who have thrown it back at me. I give you now the time to examine the sins of humanity against everything I hold sacred so that you can atone for the sins of the world. The final battle has begun and much life, the gift of life created by me, will 
will be destroyed by man, and for that I will punish the world. Your Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. 